Gus Van Sant. One of my favorite directors. He directed like Goodwill Hunting. I'm sure you, people have heard of that one, thanks to Affleck and what's his face there, Matt Damon. Uh, my, my Private Idaho, To Die For. It was all right. It was it was an all right movie. Uh, Last Days, Elephant, uh, retro movie back in the day. Probably one of his best was um, Drugstore Cowboy. I'm going to review his latest movie, Paranoid Park. The premise is basically a young, alienated skateboarder, teenager, uh, kind of gets wrapped up in this murder of a security guard. And uh, the movie's kind of taking you through, like, the few days it all takes place and going through, you know, what's going through his head. He's dealing with that, but he's also dealing with his parents divorcing, uh, girlfriend troubles, friend troubles, popularity shit, you know, basic teenage problems. Sorry, I'm quoting this in my way. No, it's just really dark, but it's very uplifting to the way Gus Van Sant, and he did this a lot through last days, just uses long kind of panoramic shots of some serenity when you're in the midst of all this chaos. And I like the fact that he doesn't use like mega star actors and actresses all the time. Like I've never heard, heard of him. Gabe Nevins, I've never heard of the kid before, heard of the kid before, but he does an awesome job. He's a good actor. Star rating at a five, I'd give it a four star rating. I knock off half because I didn't really like the ending, um, my opinion, and the other half because this movie is about skateboarding and the skateboarding culture, and it takes place in Portland, Oregon, where one of the most famous skate parks in North America is Burnside, and they call it Paranoid Park, the name of the movie, you know? I can understand if they were, you know, if it was, I, I can't understand that. Why would they rename Burnside? It's a good movie. Watch it. I'm the coolest kid in school. Superstars.